Hey guys, wanted to make a quick video today. Um, I guess this is sort of our Sunday <laughs> Sunday message from the Morrigan here. I, I have this book on tarot and I like to pull, not pull, but I like to flip to a specific page every week and that sort of becomes my message for the week. Um, all of these different pages correlate with a different card in the tarot and there is some text as well that sort of goes into deeper thought. And I had a moment of synchronicity. I want to read this whole paragraph to you guys in this video because it just struck me as a message that was so, so time appropriate, so season appropriate, and it also felt really Morrigan appropriate. Also, I had a moment of synchronicity. I was listening to, I created like a witchy playlist and I do have it shared on my channel in case you're interested. But one of the songs within that playlist is called Same Old Energy and it's by Kiki Rockwell. It's really good, super witchy, super like old Salem vibey. Love the message of the song. It's great. And there was a specific line in that song um, that correlated with this message in like a really crazy synchronistic way. So I'll start by reading this paragraph and then we can also maybe look at the Kiki Rockwell song. I look out upon our world and see a sea of anesthetized souls. You who once rode the wild beasts of your own passions through a life of adventure and purpose have been convinced somehow to contain yourselves. Convinced somehow that you must be civilized that the alternative is unrefined, is vulgar, primitive, grotesque. But I see you. I see in you a wild, hidden soul, crouching deep inside the fecund forest of your interior, the one you have been taught to silence, the one you have been told must wear a muzzle of manners, must be fed to the lions, must be kept in the tight leash of your rational mind. That wildness inside you is you. That wildness is essential to your true nature, to the possibility of becoming whole. To tell you otherwise is just a method of control. And so you seek to control that part of you. You internalize the stories of unnecessary shame, and the next thing you know, some vital part of yourself has been lost. But you must ride that wildness. You must ride in such a way that you are not controlling that creature, nor is that creature controlling you. Rather, you are working together to move forward through the world. The time has arrived to channel your wildness into the expression of your full creativity, allowing you to renew and regenerate yourself. You are receiving through her a gleaming seed composed of all the instincts and knowledge needed in our lives. There is no need to suppress this growth. The blossoming within the illuminated altar, strength has three jaguars emanating from her center. They are ultimately wild, and yet they are also under her fluent control. Using energetic reins to do this with balance and clarity, we can release and harness the energy bound up in our strongest, deepest feelings and tendencies. Strength's crown of wild flowers is the inevitable external blossoming that unfurls from our innate intelligence when we come into a cohesive relationship with all the untamed, unnamed, unfettered parts of ourselves. And that was written by Eve Bradford and Bryn McKay in 2018. And this is their artistic interpretation of the strength card. So that quote is very, very obviously all about unleashing yourself, your inner self, your true self, that which some people might call dark, that which has been demonized in the past, suppressed from all of us. It is the part of us that many call witch. And we have been convinced that it's something to be scared of, to run from, to bury. It has been labeled evil and dark. It's been painted with a broad brush, given no nuance, no space. And this has been done intentionally to divorce us from our true power so that instead of architects of our own collective society, we become subjects to be ruled and contained. The first verse in that Kiki Rockwell song, which by the way, <laughs> I was um, doing some chores and listening to a podcast, and all of a sudden, I felt very strongly that the Morrigan wanted me to shuffle my, my playlist and listen to music instead, and this is the first song that popped up. And this is what the first verse says. Mass hysteria and false accusation, our strange domination got no explanation. As fear plagues the nation, your whole congregation say they should be caged in, these women of Satan. 
Yes, there's masturbation, some ego inflation, but really it's shadow just congregating. So act on temptation and live by sensation. This is the reason you came to creation, which I mean, point for point is literally, literally the exact message of this quote. So I will take this as a synchronicity from the Morrigan that especially, especially as we move into our darker months here, there is a feral, animalistic, raw, gritty part of me that I feel. It is arguably the part of me that connects me to the Morrigan the most. And so this is a part of me that I will no longer suppress or deny or explain away with rational thought and logic and (laughs) playing the devil's advocate. I know who I am. You know who you are. So let's reconnect to that primal part of ourselves. Let's stop forgetting who we really are.